Hello, good morning. I just dropped my pen. <laughs> that was a good morning, wasn't it? How is everybody? Welcome to Spelling with Jules. Uh, good to see everybody today. Sasha, I'm so glad that you're feeling great. That was really lovely. And little phase X on, you said that your dog had a haircut yesterday and you're sat on the sofa. How lovely. Um, hello, Isla. Hello, um, yeah, hello, Sasha. Hello, Ronan. Hello, Chloe. Um, I'm just looking to see if Stephen is here yet. I'm sure he will be. Um, good morning to everybody, though. Lovely to see you all. Yeah, I've looked through. Stephen's not here yet. I'm sure he will be. There's Stephen. Hello, Stephen. And you're fine. So quick check in, everybody. How are you all feeling? Um, I'm feeling okay today. I'm very busy. So I'm feeling a little bit like I've got lots of things happening. Does that happen to you sometimes? And so I need to stop and I need to write a list and feel calm and make sure I'm ready. But I'm fully ready um, for spelling today. So um, that is good. And I always enjoy my spelling with you all. Um, oh, dear. Isla sprained her wrist. Oh, oh, I hope you're okay. Um, is it your writing wrist or your other um, wrist? If it is, you'll have to have a think about doing your spellings up here, won't you? You're busy today, are you, Ronan? So you might feel a bit like me, that you need to make a list um, and not get too worried about it and just tick off and do the best you can. Um, Ryan went back to school. Um, oh, I was, please say hello to Ryan and... Um, uh, send him our regards and I hope he's going well at school. Okay, great. Let's get on then. So last lesson, we did the second oi sound. So do you remember there was an oi, which we often put at the, at the end of words, like boy and toy. And today we're doing, um, and then yesterday, sorry, we did um, this oi, which is often in the middle of words. Okay, so if we have a play, and this is what you can do at home if you like as well. It's quite nice to do it with different colours. But so think of the sound that we did, and then you can keep changing stuff. So if we do b oi ul, okay, I could add a suffix onto that. So I'm going to change my pen. That's not a good one. Um, so it could be boiled. Um, I could take the b off. Looking for my. Um, rubber. So I could take the B off. And actually, I don't know if you know the word toil means work. Um, so toil. And then I could have toil or oil, uh, uh, toiled. Okay, so I could then take off the suffix and the T. And then I will have oil. Um, um, then I could add an F. And then we could have that silver material that we put around things called foil. Okay. Um, let's have a look. I could take off the F. This is a good thing for you to do to keep um, keep practicing. And then I could do spoil. Okay. And I can add a suffix again there. I could do spoiled. Or I could add a different suffix. So you could have spoiling, yeah? You're spoiling our game or something. So one more, let's have another look. And remember we did, uh, oh, we could do this one. So completely take everything out. And we could do, um, put an N, N, O, I, noise. Okay, so have a little play like that. But that was our sound that we did yesterday. And remember this other sound here is also oi. So that's why our spelling can be difficult. Okay, but this one usually goes at the end of words like boy and toy, ploy. And oi goes in, usually goes in the middle of words. Okay, so there are two oi sounds, two letters, one sound. But they're the, uh, the most common ways. There are other ways even of spelling oi with other letters. Okay, so I'm going to take those off for now. And it's time for your spelling quiz. So we did five a day keeps the spelling demons away yesterday. And we're on to looking at some subjects, aren't we? So we did some subjects. 
and we've also done um, some a few words. Okay, um, and to, today at the end of the lesson, we'll also do three more subjects and two difficult, commonly spelt words. Okay, Sasha's done some oys for us there from yesterday. Toilet choice, voice, point to void, foil, and toil. Well done. Lovely, lovely oi words. So, number one on your spelling quiz. Got your pens ready? Number one. Check in with yourself. Make yourself nice and relaxed so you're not worried because your spelling will be worse if, it's, if you're anxious. And the first word is history. Okay, so, oh, you're having a sip of your tea, are you? History. So that's in humanities, isn't it? So you've got geography and history. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is um, uh, common, uh, common red words. Okay, and it is when. When will you come back to spelling? Tomorrow or the next day? When? Puts lid back on teacup. <laughs> Having a whole um, narration of Sasha's morning on, on the sofa. Um, so number two is when. Number three, another subject, but also a word, design. Design and technology is a subject. Or um, I am going to design a spelling lesson for tomorrow. Okay, number four. Another um, high frequency, you know, the, the words that we use a lot um, is all. Coming right back to some of those first lessons that we had. We're on lesson 45. Can you believe that? 45 lessons we've done. Um, so the word is all. So I like all of my lessons or um, I'm going to eat all of my tea or I'm going to drink. Maybe Sasha's going to drink all of her tea and she does design and tech. Yeah. OK, so that was number four. And number five is the word technology. So we've had history, when, design, all, technology. We need technology to do this lesson, don't we? Technology. Um, number six. Number six is thought. Another red word. Okay, these words that aren't necessarily phonic but they are in our 100 most used words in the language. Thought. I thought I would, um, I can't think what to say. I thought I would do a different word tomorrow. Thought. Seven. Okay, now this is a really hard word and we've only done it once, which was yesterday. So I will give you a clue. I before E except after C. And the word is achieve. I hope you achieve your spelling. But if you don't, I know you'll be able to tick some of those letters. Achieve. So you should be able to get A and T. At, and then you've got Eve to think about, and you've got that I before E. Okay, number eight. So number eight is the other where. So we did do where direction, didn't we? But this time it's not that where, um, and I'm going to write that where here. So it's not this one. It's where as in I am wearing a top. So where? So what are you wearing? I wear. Yeah. So wearing clothes, that type of wear. So not this one. And number nine. Stephen, what's number five? Number five was technology. 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 
Okay, I'll go through them all again in a minute. So number nine, another difficult word that we did yesterday, absence. Absence. There was some absence in my class yesterday. It means there were some people missing absence. You can have absent with a t, but this is absence. Number seven, Stephen, was achieve, achieve. Uh, and the final one, number 10, and then I'll go through them all. I'll, I shall cross that out so you don't get confused and think that's one. Okay, number 10 is who, who, that's a sign for who, who. That's one of your red commonly um used words high frequency words we call them okay i'll quickly run through and then i'll give you the answers number one was history number two when number three design number four all all number five technology number six thought Number seven, achieve. Number eight, wear. Number nine, absence. Number 10, who? There we go. I'll give you the answers. Sasha, um, yes, I have a dog and his name is Jasper. He's a border collie and he's three years old. Okay. Number one then is history. So it's here with one S, so here's Tory. So you've almost got two words in there. You've got his and then story, but only one S. So if you'd written it like this though, his, maybe you've done that, his story. Okay, you could have done it like that. So you, but you, instead of crossing out the whole word, you can tick H, I, S. You need to fix that one, tick that one, Tick, tick, fix. So you can see actually you've got three, six ticks. So it doesn't quite look as bad. Little phase, you've got 10. Well done. Have a look at counting up your ticks because I'm sure you're doing quite well with those. So do count up your ticks rather than the words. Okay. Oh, that's my phone going off. I thought it was on silent. I expect it will go off. If it carries on, I might nip over and switch it off. Um, number two is when. So we've got wa, e, n, when. Wa, e, n. Or underneath here. Okay. When. It's gone off. So if it goes on again, I'm going to get up and switch it off. But if it doesn't, then it'll be okay. Number three, design. So we go duh, and this is design. So you might be mistaken and put an I here, okay, but it's an E, so D, E, and then the word sign. Okay, so duh, e, s, I, g, n, design. Okay, two, two syllables, duh, sign, yeah. So it might be that you put an I there because we say design, don't we? which is like an ear. Okay. Oh, Sasha's got a border collie cross a lurcher. Ronan, I don't think I have gone wrong. Which ones do you think I've gone wrong with? Oh, you did. That's okay. Thank you, Ronan. That's fine. Keep checking me. You know I do go wrong a lot. Okay. Number four is all. So that's hard, isn't it? Because really we would say al. But if you think of that word all, and then if you add a B in, it would be ball. Okay, so A L L all. Number five, technology. Okay, now I think most of you will definitely spell that bit right because we use that as a shortened version, don't we? We often say tech. So, t -e. but remember, this is a ch 
sound often, isn't it? But in this word, it's a k. So t e k. And actually, I have seen people write this for tech. Okay, or this for tech, because we know C can sometimes be hard, don't we? Tech, sorry, there. Okay, so that random H means it sound, looks like tech, but it's tech. And then, so the next word, if you're, if you're working on your syllables, tech, we've written no. Okay, so we know now the next one is an N and then an O. Tech, no. Tech, no. L. O, G. Okay, tech, no. L. L, O, G. All right. Number six, thought. Remember the th so it's ta ha thor. And then um, I always remember some of you um, having to remember o u g h. Okay, that's why it's a tricky word. So we've got th or t. So this is only three sounds. As you can see from my sound buttons, so you've got this sound is two letters, T and H. This sound is four letters. That's a whopper, O-U-G-H, four letters for one sound, and then a T. So it's only three sounds, even though it's seven letters. How many syllables is it? Thought, only one. So that's why it's a hard word, isn't it? So it's one syllable, seven letters, three sounds. And it's got this whopper here, which is four letters for one sound, or O-U-G-H. That's why it's hard. Okay. Number seven, this is the hard one, achieve. So, a -ch. You could definitely do that. And then it's eve. a -ch eve Okay. Three sounds, achieve. Two syllables, at, eve, three sounds. And then number eight is where. Now, not wear direction, the wearing of your clothes. What are you wearing? Okay, and you spell that, wear, air. Okay, so it's almost like wear, isn't it? Because it's got an ear, the word ear there, but it's wear. Okay, and that is for clothes. So I'm going to draw you a lovely T-shirt here. You know how good I am at drawing. That's the where. Where is your other where? Is that one. Okay, so you've got where, close, where, arrow. Number nine, absence. Okay, so you've got ab. Now, this one, because we've done the word sense, haven't we? And it's got an S in it. But this has got a C. So it's ab s -e -n -s, absence. Okay? You burnt your tongue on your tea, Sasha. Okay, number 10. Last one, Dr. Stephen, Dr. Who. And it's a W-H-O. Who. And the sign for who is this? Who? Okay. So it's fine if you want to tell me how many words out of 10 you got, but do think about your letters. Okay. So don't worry if you didn't get any right, but you probably managed to count your ticks. How many ticks and how many fixes have you had to have? Have a think. But well done, those that got 10 out of 10. Don't worry, though, if you didn't. Do look at your ticks, particularly the first letter and the last letter. Okay, well done. Good, Sasha. Good, Chloe. Right. Time now. Now, we have already done this sound, but we've, we've done it with the letter A, A. But this time we're going to do it on its own. And it is time for our split digraph. Can you remember what a split digraph is? Don't worry if you don't. I'm going to give you a clue, though. We have got hat, 
at. But if we put an E on the end, a becomes A, which is like that. Can you see? So we put a T in between and an H at the front. Hate. Okay? So we've got A, but without the E, then we have this, what we call a short vowel sound, A. So it turns into a long vowel sound if you put an E on the end. Okay, let's have a look at some others. So, yes, we've got lame. We've got made. Excellent. Okay, can you think of any more? We've got snake. Snake. Okay. So that is one sound, but it's split. The digraph, the digraph means two letters, okay, but it's split between there, okay? That's why we call it a split digraph, because we split it with a letter. Frame, very good. Frame, and we also had flame. Okay, we've got some coming up here. So we've got, ah, we've got safe from Chloe. Yeah, very good. Safe, keep, and she's put that into a sentence. Keeping safe, Miss Dorby. Yeah, Miss Jules Dorby. And we've got shake. We've got frame. Did I put shake up? Shake. Game. Frame from Isla. Trade, plate, Sasha's now eating her apple. That isn't an A sound, just thought I'd let you know. And then we've got gate, late, bake. Excellent. And Stephen is giving us a sentence. Oh, wrong one, sorry. The snake hates the frame. That's a good one. Okay, like it. Little phase Exxon, mate and cake. Okay, right, I'm going to come up with um, a sentence. Um, of, I'm going to write a few more. So we've got whale. Now, remember, we have other sounds. So I'm just going to, because the snail and the whale, but snail is that A sound. Okay, so that's AI, whereas this is this sound here. So were a all. L a m, f r a m. Okay, but there are other ways of doing it, so we'll put those in there if any of you do it. Okay, so Sasha's got a few more here. Plate, game, frame, trade, plate, gate, cake, and you're going to do a sentence. Excellent. So I'm going to do a sentence in a minute. Um, I'm going to put tame because I want to tame my snake and whale even though they hate it. I'm not going to tame them with a flame, though. That wouldn't be nice, would it? I'm going to tame them with a piece of cake. And a nice chocolate flake. What have we got here? The earthquake. And actually, that's another... Um, isn't it? That's a good because it's got the qu ache. Well done. The earthquake made the ground shake. Very nice. My mate made a late bake for a game. Very good. They're really nice sentences. See if you can come up with some. Okay, Chloe, you got one? So I'm going to do one. Um, how about this? I'm going to put amazing in there as well. Okay, my amazing snake and whale used to hate playing games, but then I tamed them with cake and chocolate flakes, and now they play lovely games. 
There we go. <laughs> um, the picture frame made of a snake plays a game while cooking a cake. I like that one. Great. Well done. And we've got tape there. Um, I went down to the animal park to get a snack to take home with me to have have it as my own pet. Very good. Five minutes left. Thank you. Some of the team were late for the game because they ate cake. So we tied them in tape. Very good. Okay. So, yep, five minutes left. So it's time for our five a day keeps the spelling demons away. Okay. And these are the five that I will quiz you on tomorrow. Okay, they're getting hard. Okay, so if they're too hard for you, it doesn't matter. Just try and do the first letter and the end letter. But for those of you that can, you can do these. So first one, I thought we should do humanities because we've done history and geography. Oh, we've got another sentence. I went down to the cake shop to get some cake. Very good. Okay, so our first word is humanities. So we do H. Now, we've got the word human here, okay? But because we add it is on, that means it's a plural, okay? So humanity would be a Y. And also, um, we instead of saying human, we say humanities. So because we tend not to say human, but we do for humanities. Okay, so it's almost easier to spell that one than human, which you might put an O or a U. You've made a five-a-day sentence, have you, Sasha? Good O. That's a good way of practicing the spellings, isn't it, that you could do. And you've got five-a-day. Uh -huh, five-a-day keep the rotten spelling demons away. Okay, next one is biology. So in science, we have biology. So bi O or O, so by O, 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 G. So B, I, O, 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 G. And you guessed it, because I've done biology, I've got to do the other science, which is physics. So it's got the F, but PH. Okay, and then it has, this is always really hard, this one, and then it has a Y for the I. So you've got F, which is the F sound. Then you've got Y for the I sound. And then you've got sick physics. Okay, can you see? Well, that's hard, isn't it? I think I'm going to throw this pen on the floor because I keep using it. Number four. Hoping this one's better. Um, four minutes, thank you. Four. Now, this one's really hard. Okay, but it's a good one to remember with doubling up. So it's got a double C and it's got a double O. Uh, no, a double M. Okay, so it's accommodate. So it's like accommodation. So if you accommodate somebody, you give them space, give them room, allow them in. Okay, and it comes, it's the same word as accommodation. So accommodate, and it's misspelled all the time because of these. Oh, so you've got a, k, o, oh dear. Oh, my pen seems to have run out. Oh, so I'm going to throw these in the bin and get new ones for tomorrow. And then, it, oh, that one's better, isn't it? Look, so a, k, two c's, o, two m's, a com. O date and that has got our split digraph in it. A k o m o date. Okay. The way I remember this because lots of people either spell it with one c or they spell it with two or one m, um, and I think because accommodate is the word for accommodation. Okay, we have to accommodate all the letters. So I think that it's double C, double M, because we've got to accommodate them all. That's my way of doing it, isn't it? Yes, I'll get a new pen, Ronan, I promise. 
tomorrow you'll, you'll have a lovely new pen okay number five is almost okay now it's all but only one l most okay now the reason remember a root word is all but a prefix the bit you put at the beginning is an one l okay so if you think of most as the root word and then a prefix which is only ever one l okay it's the same with always always almost one l okay try and practice these and i'll quiz you on them tomorrow plus five words we've already done time's up thank you stephen thank you ronan thank you sasha i will see you tomorrow bye